Happy Sunshine family. Lunacy's back for part seven of Hat J's post trial filings. This is taking a look at document number 149, the standing final judgment and order reconfirmed. So this cover sheet, which is generated by Francis Lloyd, says United States District Court, Eastern District of Tennessee at Knoxville. This is the United States of America v. Heather Ann Tucci Giraffe, case number 3-17-CR-0082-002. Honorable Thomas A. Varlin, Chief U.S. District Judge. The Honorable C. Clifford Shirley Jr., Chief U.S. Magistrate Judge. Notice of filing. The defendant, Heather Ann Tucci Giraffe, hereby files standing final judgment and order reconfirmed. Respectfully submitted, Francis Lloyd Jr. Uh, with a certificate of service that this document was electronically filed with the court systems. And here we see the uh, boilerplate form that uh, BZ has provided to Heather uh, through Francis Lloyd. It's got, uh, you know, the blue and the red text up here, all of this pre-printed uh, with all of the case numbers. Looks like there's been some corrections. Heather didn't have to do the one colon in front of the uh, case number for the identity hearing in Washington, D.C. And also the case number that lists the initials for Deborah C. Poplin is included there. So that's saving some wear and tear on her golf pencils, which is great when you're not allowed to have a pencil sharpener all the time. So all caps and underlined, standing final judgment and order, reconfirmed. The word reconfirmed is bracketed with asterisks. Section one, ellipsis, being duly issued, filed, served, and noticed in conjunction with the standing declaration of dishonor and honor Issue date, February 14, 2018. Standing order to cease and desist. Issue date, February 15, 2018. And standing order of null and void. Issue date of February 15, 2018. Each restated and incorporated here by reference as if set forth in full. Issue date, February 15, 2018. So... What this is saying is this entire block, Roman numeral one, this entire paragraph, is saying, hey, just, I'm repeating myself, pretend that the standing declaration of dishonor and honor is here, fully printed out and, and for you to read again. Also the standing order to cease and desist and the standing order of null and void. So Heather's repeating herself. Roman numeral 2, Article 1, above restated. So she's repeating herself again. And for due cause, as duly set forth in documents 18, 43, 54, 55, 56, 98, 101, and 102, restated and reincorporated, excuse me, restated and incorporated here by reference as if set forth in full. Now this is another repeating herself of previous documents that she has filed and has receipts from the electronic court filing system. Many of these documents, specifically document number 98 here, her precipe, uh, was not allowed into the trial. The jury didn't get to see it. Check out the show more section down below uh, for a link to my video where I read through document number 98, her big price to pay. A lot of non-standard things printed in there and uh, makes me scratch my head of why it's not allowed. Seems to be logically put together. It is ordered and reconfirmed that the superseding indictment and action against the above-named defendant, Heather Antucci Giraffe, is and was duly dismissed with prejudice, January 22, 2018. Nunct pro tunc, praetera praetera. 
This is uh, then us now, moreover, furthermore. Is it then us now or now us then? Basically, the nunc pro tunc means that's effective retroactively. Certificate of service, also written with a golf pencil. I certify that on February 21st, the 15th is crossed out, 21st is corrected, written in, Hat J's initials there, of 2018, a true, accurate, and complete scan of the foregoing original was made and caused to be electronically filed. Notice of this filing will be sent by operation of the alleged court's electronic filing system to all alleged parties indicated on the electronic filing receipt. Alleged parties may access this filing through the alleged court's electronic filing system. Dated February 21st, it was corrected from the 15th and initialed by Hat J of 2018, signed Heather Antucci Giraffe. Printed original Heather Antucci Giraffe. And a certificate of service from William Thomas Ferguson III, dated the 23rd of February 2018. Okay, document 150, when we get into that, that's going to have, I mean, we this whole Hat J experience is non-standard from the get-go. But document 150, <laughs> the, I, I don't know any precedent to it. So we're going to have a lot of fun with that. If you got any love lighter links for me, you can send them to lunacy at protonmail.com. We'll be back really soon. I love you guys a lot. Bye-bye.